Well, here we are back again in the North Mitten Row, Mitten Row. Um, progress has been made. Uh, it's not easy to see it from here because most of it's just below the horizon there. Um, I'm, I'm working towards completing the quarter still. Uh, you'll see in a moment that the lower section's interior is still most entirely to do. Uh, I think probably going to take me about two weeks, which would, uh, given that this is the two-month mark, um, that would obviously put the uh, completion of a quarter at approximately ten weeks, hopefully, which would then obviously put the completion of the entire thing at maybe ten months, which I think is perhaps above the initial estimate, but below the subsequent one. Um, I do still have statues to do, um, there's going to be four, three per quarter, um, I think they'll all be on here, there's going to be basically a statue on this tower, this tower, and probably something standing on the roof, um, that's going to wait though, um, even when I complete the quarter I may not put them in place, um, have to see. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of room up here to do a statue. Uh, if I'm in the right way, what would it be? Okay, that would be the legs, feet, waist, lower body, upper body, head. So yeah, if I do the statue on this piece, I will not be able to put much of a plume on the helmet um, and it would be not possible to put a sword up above the head. Um, so yeah, unlikely. Which is a shame because I think I originally envisioned there being maybe four griffins. The griffins combined, um, somebody sat on them probably going to cap out at the top before I even complete all of that. So yeah, again, wouldn't be really much point doing it. But uh, anyway, I've done a little bit of tweaking on the internals and they've become something that's going to be uh, completely unplanned but going in. Um, what was originally just going to be a tree growing up here has now become a tree growing up the entire central column. Um, this is going to be opened up, I think already on one side. Yeah, going to be more open like this. Um, going all the way down, get to the central chamber. And it's just called a growing around and over. Um, and there's going to be a con I think it's a continuation, I think. The bit down below is going to actually just go down to a root system. Um, the roots will be snaking down into here, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, when I think I've been doing this, this is one of the reasons why I don't like using the world edit. Uh, doing this, which I've already done like five times up here. I've finally hit on what I think may be a much better um, well basically a better way of handling this section partly because obviously by this point I've now decided that there's going to be a great big tree trunk taking up most of this space so it would have been nice if it had been bigger in the first place but for now you know I've left this gap so it's a little bit more open there will be branches coming out, at least up on the upper part. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to, I think, just look better. So, uh, I don't think there's any need to get rid of the entire central column. I think that can stay. I don't think it's intended to be supportive. That's being handled by these. Um, but yeah, that's the... Um, a little late extra. <laughs> um, 
I thought that was fine had it to begin with, the, the idea for the tree that the branches would snake out and they would form part of the framework. And I could still do most of that because at this point, literally, only the upper section would be missing it. I could easily incorporate it into these sections, but I don't want an organic building. I don't mind that there's an internal organic component that is fused with it, but I don't want it to be to be a blend. I keep getting images in my head of things like mushrooms growing on the side, um, and just you know, forest I suppose growing on the upper parts and just wild stuff like that. And it's like no, that's too much away from from where I am currently with the grey knights. I don't want to get that over the top with it. So it's going to remain a stone metal structure for now, at least. But that's pretty much it. Um, I was quite pleased with the bottom. Uh, I didn't go with the threat of these peaked roofs becoming shallow like these ones because it's upside down, but I did do that with with what? Apparently I didn't do it with anything. Oh, I'm in the wrong part. Yeah, there we go. Definitely stuck with it for this one. Not too bad, a little weird here where they're about the same height. You feel like the tower ought to pierce up higher when you're lower down. You know, it looks slightly odd. Dropping like that just reminded me, I tell you all the funny story. I managed to die in creative mode. I died. Not sure that's ever happened before. Actually, it has. But that's a story for another time. Yeah, I I dropped down. I fell below the Y equals zero. You only have so much time before you begin to take damage and then you instantly die past. I think it's Y minus 65 and that's an insta kill. For some reason I just couldn't get flight to engage before the rockets would work. You know, I don't know what it's like when you're playing survival, but in creative mode you have to activate the elytra or rockets won't do anything. So yeah. Um, before I could get my get myself organized, I plummeted to my death. Uh, it's very annoying working out what was in my inventory at the time. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. Obviously you can imagine what I'm going to be doing over the next well, as I say, eight months to go. But there we have it. Progress so far on Ethran, the Void Breaker.